my dearest lady Cunagon. My plan to evade death in these games has so far been highly successful. In fact, I have made it to the final eight of the tributes. My dearest, I am hopeful that I will be able to go on to the bitter end and come out victorious. So strange how fate twists and turns in and out of our favor, my lady. But alas, I shall return to you prosperous and wealthy, and will live out the rest of our lives in peace and harmony. Miss Rome, I've noticed that you carry around that for everywhere. Why is that? Oh, he's like this. Don't you think it's so pretty? Oh, my lady, I am sure of it. Remain faithful, my love. I shall return to thee soon. I'm um, this is very quiet. Are you worried about being overshadowed by any of the other tributes? Oh, well, my love. Kedi. That's my bed! that Papopolis, mm -hmm. but I would have thought that her best strategy would be to hide. I was very surprised when she killed Candide. It was shocking, but it, yeah. What I will say about that is because Miss Brill seems like such a passive, you know, quiet kind of person that the world just, you know, goes by, doesn't really notice her, but that bench, that is her bench, and we all know that is her bench. Mm, yeah. And I bet that was the straw that broke the candle's back on quiet little Miss Brill. This alliance is over. I do not have you on my side. You can't leave me! No! I need you! In order to leave, I do not have you on my side. You are weak. I thought we were in this together! You are. Please! You won't leave me! You are lying. You are a cheating whore! I do not have you. so as being one of the contestants to form an alliance. I mean, especially with someone like Madame Bovary, please. She's just so logical and she's so emotional. They're, they're complete opposites. You know, the only reason that I can think that they formed an alliance is because Bovary wanted someone to be in alliance with, and Rousseau, being so passive, didn't refuse. Didn't really want to, but at the mm. same time, didn't refuse. Still, for someone as robotic as him to, I mean, I don't know, I, I do think he's smart. I think he's very intelligent, oh, yes, but yes. Um, I, I, don't, I don't see the benefits of being in alliance with someone so emotional, so prone to those outbursts, and so unpredictable. You know, Rousseau seems kind of like a ladies man, so maybe he thought that there would be a little benefit of forming an alliance Ooh. with this over.
jealous. Look at him going to help Little Bee like that. Such a gentleman. Oh, but I do. He's he's too good for these games. I really don't think he like he belongs here. Oh, definitely not. But you know, that's how the games work. Yeah, you should not have sinned. Sinner. Go away. What happened? Where's your weapon? I don't have any weapons. Go away. Come on, let me help you. I don't need your help. Come on, yes you do. You're hurt. Come on, ready? Crawl out. Come on. Uh. Come on. Good job. You okay? Yeah. Alright, come on. We gotta get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. Hey, you need it. Thank you for helping me. No problem. How'd that even happen? How'd you get there? Oh, the Frenchman was chasing me, so I climbed one tree. Frenchman? Yeah, and I fell. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, you look really, like, way too young to be in the lit games. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's a long story. You wanna stick together? Be better in the long run. I'll let you think about it. So now, probably gonna be the hardest time of your life these next couple days. You can find me here at some point. Take care. Little B made that alliance with Daedalus. Mm. She she seemed too mistrustful and too polite in the interviews, as if she didn't want to get too close to us. It's true. We would now like to welcome our youngest contestant in this year's Lit Games, Little B! is just because she's seen a little bit too much of life at such mm. a young age. You know, maybe this alliance with Daedalus is exactly what Little B needs to trust people again. Hmm, maybe, maybe. I see where you're coming from, Pepopolis. Thank you, Pebbles. She got what she deserved! I am so happy she's finally out of the games. Oh, she was so annoying. You know, I don't think that's really fair. I think that she's definitely a victim of, you know, these games and 
of Merceau's actions. Are you serious right now, Papopoulos? Mm -hmm. I mean, did you see her interview? I did. Let, let, let's, let's play that interview again so you can see that. Hi, Madame Bovary. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? I'm, I'm very well. Are you excited to be here? You seem very smiley. Very excited. Excellent. So, I'm going to start off by being very honest with you. We've heard some pretty juicy accusations about your personal life. Ooh. Now that you have the opportunity, do you care to set the record straight? My husband and I have already set the record straight, so let's just leave it at a woman needs love. Interesting. <laughs> Do you care to leave it at that? It's all you have to say? Yeah. Everything we've heard? Alright. My, my next question, be honest, we don't want to give too much away. Do you have any strategies you wish to employ in this year's first annual Lit Games? Strategies? see the way she was flouncing her hair around, as if she was flirting with the audience. So scandalous. You know, I don't really think that's fair to Miss Bovary. I mean, she grew up without her mother. How oh. is she supposed to learn proper oh. lady etiquette without having a mother figure? Poor little thing. No, not really. She doesn't have a mother. I mean, that's not an excuse for her to act so... How shall I put it? In a very polite term. Like a floozy. Oh, I don't think that's fair. I mean, you could tell. You could tell by the look on Raskolnikov's face that she was a victim. Speaking of which, where is Raskolnikov? Hmm. Let's take a look. You know, out of all the contestants in these games, I think Raskolnikov might be the winner. Really? Yeah, I mean, he's the Ubermensch. Did, did you guys listen to his interview? Let's see it right now. How are you today, Raskolnikov? Guys, he's speechless. He is that excited to be here with us today. So, I'm just going to start off very naturally asking you questions. Something I've asked everyone. How do you feel like you'll do in this competition? Do you think you have a competitive edge against any of the other contestants? Like, you have a particular strategy, maybe? I'd say that some men are destined for greatness to go beyond what others achieve in their lifetimes. Don't forget everyone! I like your thinking, Mass Conicoff. So, my next question is something that the rumor bills have been starting to spin a little bit. Are you forming an alliance with anyone? Are you friendly with anyone in particular in this competition yet? No. Sorry, but I just I don't think that he'll be the winner. Hmm. What? Why? Why? Be, why do you say that? Well, I mean, I think that you can see it in his eyes. He's just carrying so much guilt from the crimes that he committed. I think that the guilt is gonna carry on with him. He's not gonna be able to form alliances, and I think that he's gonna end up dying rather quickly. Well, you know, you you bring up a good point, but I'm still gonna hold on to that belief that he just sees himself too high above everybody else and that sort of that sort of personality and motivation that is what's going to bring him even farther than the rest of them. Well, let's see where he's running to right now. Raskolnikov, do you want a cookie? Oh. You don't get no cookies or Raskolnikov. Now look, it's gonna be 20 rubles for that watch of yours and you don't get it back until I pay it in full with some interest. Get out of my office! So, Pepopolis, I wonder where Hamlet is right now. Let's check in, Pebbles. What's he doing up there? Oh. Oh, oh how clever. You know, Pebbles, he's always had a flair for the dramatic. Indeed he has. Oh, it's you. Did you bring my money today, Raskolnikov? Oh, what are you having in your hand? No! 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 Oh! Oh! Oh, the villain! Oh, the villain! Oh, the villain! Oh! 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 Oh!
ladies and gentlemen, we now welcome Hamlet, the first ever volunteer. This man exemplifies courage. He is what the Lit Games represent. So now, please put your hands together and welcome Hamlet! How are you, sir? Excellent. Have a seat. We are so excited to have you here. I've heard people talking for weeks leading up to these interviews about this amazing man, brave enough, strong enough, just amazing enough to volunteer himself, potentially give up his life to participate in this competition. My, my first question is quite simply, what compelled you to make this decision? Why would you volunteer your life for the Lick Games? Originally, my uncle was chosen to participate in the Lick Games, but I could not let him die here. Therefore, I volunteered myself in this place so that he could stay behind and do what he was trying to do. I'm the strongest in my family. Wow, that's that's an incredible story. Guys, what do you think about that? I just that I could never do something like that. I think that's amazing. So moving on, it seems like it's a very touchy subject. We just we definitely everyone here wanted to make sure you knew how amazing we thought you were, how excited you were to have our first ever volunteer. So my next question, I've asked every contestant. Any strategies at all? To be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing them. To die, to sleep no more. And by a sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream, aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must be given pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. Kill or not to kill. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's continuing, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office and the spurns that patient merit the unworthy takes, when he himself might his quietus make with a bare bodkin. Who would fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns, puzzles the will and rather makes us bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of. And thus, Conscience makes cowards of us all. To be or not to be. Thank you.
Jesus, where are you? Attention tributes! Attention tributes! The annual literature book has been placed in the field. To win, you must capture it. That is all. Attention tributes! Attention tributes! The annual literature book has been placed in the field. To win, you must capture it. That is all. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome our last tribute that we will be meeting tonight, Stephen Daedalus! get a chance to experience our contestants, to get a feel for how they'll compete, to get to know you guys a little bit. So I'm sad that this is our last interview of the evening. Um, but this is what I'm going to say. I want to first ask you, what crimes have you committed? What crimes must you now repay the capital for? Why are you here? Um, I have already made penance with God for my crimes and my sins. I do not wish to discuss them. That. So, I'll just move on. You've been away from your family for a little bit now. You yes. will be away from them for a little bit longer as this competition continues. Do you feel that you'll be missed as you're away? Well, I certainly hope so. <laughs> my father is a drunk. I have many quarrels with him. He spends all the money my family makes. He often does not come home at night. And he makes life very difficult for us. Uh, my mother does a good job of taking care of myself and my siblings. I hope that they will support me throughout this time. We all hope that for you. So, I will just say this very bluntly. We've met a lot of really fantastic contestants so far. Um, they're dynamic, they're interesting, they're all a little bit different. So, if you do make that all alive, I'm not saying you will one way or the other, I hope that the odds are in your favor. Um, what do you plan to do afterwards? Do you have any hopes or aspirations you really kind of hope to achieve afterwards? I do, yes. Truthfully, my ultimate goal in life is to escape my district and pursue my dream of becoming an artist elsewhere. That is what I want. Excellent. This is your passion. I really hope to do that. So, unfortunately, you guys, I'm, I have one last question. I hope that he answers it. We all know that some people are a little bit shy. Um, do you have any strategies you wish to employ? Do you think you have a, an idea of the things you'll need to do in this competition to make it out alive? Well, I certainly have several strategies in mind, however, to uh, maintain my odds. I would not want to share them with this. He feels like he has odds.
Was man made stupid to see his own stupidity? I guess so. Well, that was an unexpected turn of events. Mm. I never would have suspected Daedalus would be the winner of the first ever Literature Games. I mean, wow. wonderful job. You created your own destiny, sir. You chose your own fate. Kudos. Kudos to you. Thank you everybody for joining us for the first ever Literature Games. We hope to see you next season with a whole new array of cast members and new adventures. Yes. So for all of you watching, we hope you enjoyed what you saw and we will see you next year. This alliance is over. I cannot have you on my side anymore. But I thought we were together through it all. You are weak, and I cannot have you. But please! We cannot win together. You are a lying, cheating whore, and I will not be associated with you any longer. Russians on the skateboards. <laughs>